Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and welcome to another Android development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be um, creating a couple of buttons and we're going to be showing you how to create an on-click listener for each of those buttons so we can handle some click events when a user clicks on your button. So what I have here on my emulator is a simple linear layout with I have two buttons. One says change to green and one says change to blue. And all this application is going to do is when you click change to green, it's going to change the background to green, and likewise it's going to change it to blue. They can go back and forth. So that's what we're going to be creating. It's a simple task of creating two buttons and setting an on-click listener. So let's go ahead and open up Android Studio. And I already have a blank canvas here with two buttons on it. Um, if you watch my previous tutorials, you'll, you can sort of relate to how to center those on your screen and all that stuff. So that's not the purpose of this tutorial, but the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to assign an ID to each of these buttons so that we can access them in our Java code in our main activity class. So at the top of each button, we're going to type Android colon ID equals, and then in your quotations, you're going to type and plus ID forward slash. And then after the forward slash, you're going to put whatever you want your um, reference ID name to be called. So in this case, for button, the green button is going to say BTN green. And we're going to do the same exact thing for the blue button. We're going to say Android ID equals and plus ID slash. I'm going to name this button blue. So that's all you should have to add. Just remember you have to add your Android ID equals to an at symbol plus ID slash and whatever you want your variable name to be called. Or I'm sorry, whatever you want your view ID to be called. So that's all we're going to need to do for the layout. So back over here in our main activity class, I just have a simple on create, setting up our con or our set content view with a reference to our linear layout.xml file, which is the one I was just modifying. So at the top, in between our main class declaration and our on create method, we're going to declare some variables. Oh, and I have to mention one more thing. We have to assign an ID to our linear layout. So what I've done here is I've added an, an ID of background to my linear layout. So back here in the code, we're going to set up three variables. First one we're going to do, we're going to type linear layout, and then we're just going to give it a variable name of background, semicolon. Now you notice that this turns red. That means that we have not resolved this into a symbol yet, and Android has no idea what we're talking about. You can fix this simply by pushing Alt Enter on your keyboard when you're clicked on it, and go to Import Class. Or at the top, you can just type in Android or Import Android.Widget.LinearLayout. And now we're going to add two references to our buttons. So use the button variable type, and we're going to say. Uh, btn green comma btn blue same thing with the button it's red so you can put alt or I'm sorry alt enter when you clicked on the button and you'll see that and it imported Android that widget that button so what this is doing is it's saying we're going to declare background as a variable type of linear layout and the same thing with button green and button blue. They're both variable types of button. You could simply have done it this way as well. So you can do it just like that. Either way is fine. And you'll notice that we haven't assigned any or, uh, values to these buttons. We will get to those in our onCreate method. So under our set content view, we're going to give those values or variables a value. So for our linear layout, which we named background, we're going to set it equal to a, a linear layout in parentheses. That's the type of the view that we're going to be finding. And then you're going to type find view by ID. And then inside of your parentheses here, you're going to give it the ID that you used in your layout to reference your background. So in this case, it's ID, your background. So what you do is you type R dot ID dot whatever your name is. In this case, it's background. Okay, so what we're doing is we're setting our variable name of background equal to a, lay or a view type of linear layout, and then we're finding that view by an ID 
that has been set onto our screen by set content view with the ID of background. We'll do the same thing for the other two buttons. So btn green equals, remember to reference it as a button type, find view by ID, r.id, that btn green was what our ID name was. Same thing for our blue button, set it to a button type, find view by ID, r.id.btn blue. Okay, so we have our three variables reference to our layout and our two buttons. So now the next thing we need to do is we're going to set up a, a button click or an on click listener to our green button. So what we need to do is we type in btn green as our variable name. And we're going to say dot set on click listener. And notice how it's camel cased. You have set capital O, capital C, and then a capital L. And then you'll see down here in the code hints that it, as parameter, it takes an on click listener. So open and close parentheses, semicolon. Inside the parentheses, it needs an on click listener. So we're going to say a new view dot on click listener. Oops, I typed all of that wrong and something's going crazy. Let's just start over. Okay, so we're back here with just new. We're going to type view dot on click listener. And as you notice that it auto completes, Android Studio will fill in the on click method, which is required by the on click listener that we implement. So you're going to type new view dot on click listener, open close parentheses, and then inside your uh, curly braces here, you'll see it ends down here, right below your ending parentheses. You're going to have a public void on click method that accepts a view parameter. And then inside of the on click method is whatever we want to happen when we click the button. So our click button code will go here. So what we're going to do when we click button green is we want to affect the background. So we're going to say background dot and then all of these other methods come up but we're going to use set background color and that takes a parameter of an integer so we can use the, um, the color class to say color dot parse color and now we can put in an HTML string and we'll just say since it's green we'll just put in a green hexadecimal number code and that should be all set for the green button. We're going to do the same exact thing for the blue button. Let's say btn blue. Scroll down here a little bit. Dot set on click listener equal to a new on click listener. And inside of our on click method here, we're just going to say background dot set background color. And then we're going to use um, color dot parse color. And we're just going to say a nice blue color, 006699. And that should be it. So if we were to go to run this right now, click run, wait for your project to compile, and then we're going to want to go down here and we're going to, since my emulator is already running, I'm just going to say choose running device or else you can launch an emulator by going here and clicking on your emulator name or add a new one. But I'm just going to choose a running device and once we hit OK, get out of this, it's going to reinstall the application. And in a few moments here, we'll see the new activity start that we just created. All right, so we have our background is black. If we could change to blue, change to blue, and change to green, and back to blue. And that's it. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on adding on-click listeners to a button. It just gave you a simple um, setting some IDs on your buttons or views. You can add an ID to any view that you're putting into your layout. And then you can reference them in code as simple as find your view by ID, set it to a variable name with the same type. In this case, our background is a linear layout type. And then inside of your on-click listener, you have on-click and whatever 
code you put inside of your onClick method will fire off when you click that button. So, hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope to see you the next time.